Hello everyone, this is Fawad. Welcome to Future on Cloud. In, this is the continuity of NSXT from scratch video series. In today's video, I am going to show you how I have set it up my NSXT virtual nested environment. Before jump into it, I just wanted to give you an overview of my last video. In my last video, I have showed you how my physical server are interlinked with rest of the network devices. As you can see on the right hand side, I am using VMNIC 4, which is connected to gigabit 0 slash 1 of 3560. And this is the configuration of gigabit 0 slash 1. It is configured in trunk mode. My fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, which is connected to the physical router. This is the configuration of fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. And on router side, gigabit 0 slash 0 dot 1.0 is configured with the following IP. I am using sub interfaces on the router side and these are the VLANs which I have created on my physical switch. Although right now I am not using the physical switch and physical router in this lab but in upcoming advanced labs I will use both physical router and virtual router. So let's jump into the actual lab environment. So on physical server, I have created four virtual machines. All VMs are running ESXi 7.0.2. The first two VM will be used for compute cluster in NSXT. And OS3 and 4 VM will be used for management cluster. This virtual router which I am going to use in this lab is also a virtual machine which is this one ASR-2 this will act as a router. So if you don't have a physical router you can use this CSR-1000 router in order to perform your lab. If you look at the network side I have created one distributed virtual switch called DSwitch NSXT. By default, the MTU value is 1500. In order to meet the NSXT requirement for Geneve traffic, you have to change the value. So I have set it up 1700. As I have showed you in the last video, I am going to use NIC number 4, which will be equal to VMNIC 3 in the hypervisor environment. Whatever the port groups you are going to use in nested environment, you have to modify the security policies. By default, these values are configured as a reject, but you have to change it to accept. As you can see, I have modified for the management port group for VLAN 10 and the trunk port group as well. These are the VMs which are running 7.0.2. Host 1 and host 2 will be used for compute cluster and host 3 and 4 will be used for management cluster. Each host is equipped with 4 NICs. 2 will be used for management and 2 will be for trunk. But when I configured vCenter server for NSXT, then I will migrate these management physical adapter to the trunk port group as well. So these are the subnets which I am going to use in this lab. VLAN 10 will be used for management traffic for ESXi host, vCenter and NSXT manager. VLAN 20 is dedicated for TAP host for overlay traffic. VLAN 30 is dedicated for edge VM traffic. VLAN 96 and 97 is dedicated to communicate with VR uplink 1 and uplink 2. We are referring to virtual router. Likewise, 98 and 99 VLAN will be used to communicate with the PR uplink 1 and uplink 2, PR referred to physical router. The remaining three subnet I am going to use for web, app and TV in an SXT environment. These are the IP addresses of my appliances which I am going to use in this lab. The most important thing is you have to configure your DNS record for against all these IP addresses. So this is it for now. 
In next video, I am going to configure vCenter server then NSX manager for this NSXD virtual lab environment. So stay tuned, keep watching, see you in next video.